Today I've got for you another Three Looks One Palette featuring the NYX Ultimate Cool Neutrals Palette. <music> everybody, Shelly here, and today I've got for you another Three Looks One palette featuring the NYX Ultimate Cool Neutrals palette. Now this is one of my favorite palettes. I am absolutely in love with this palette. Of course, I'm a sucker for pinks and purples, and I find that this palette is really nice for everything from a basic go-to-work day look like I've got going on here, and you can even take it into a smoky night look because they've got a wonderful range of lights and darks and mattes and shimmers. We just got everything we need right here. We've got the base color to set your, your primer. We've got the dark colors for the outer corners. We've got some fun pops. We've got some very basic neutrals that all work together. I find that this is such a good mix and match palette because it's just very well curated in the color choices and you can really mix and match just about anything. So the three looks we're gonna go for this time around, I've got a pretty much a day appropriate mauve look. We're going to take that into a night look and then we'll have a little bit of fun with it. So those are the three looks we're gonna go for and if you want to see how I got them with this palette, keep on watching. This first look is my go-to daytime look, and all these looks are going to start out the same way with me setting my eye primer with that top right corner sort of cream flesh tone color, and then in my crease I like that second color. It doesn't really add much pigment, but it just makes it a little easier to transition some of the other shades that I am going to apply, so I start that way. Then I take this sort of matte mauve color into my crease as my transition shade, and since I have hooded lids, I do have to go a little bit above my crease to make it visible. Let's darken that up with a smaller blending brush and the darker matte mauve shade in this palette, and that I take lower into my crease below that transition shade and into the sort of deep set area of the crease. Then on my lid I'm using a flat shadow brush and I'm going to take this shimmery sort of pinky mauve color and give the entire lid a wash of that shimmer color. And then we're going to darken things up just a little bit in the outer corner or the outer seven if you have hooded lids and you're trying to lift your eye a little bit. I credit the outer seven naming to Sugar Puff and Fluff if you are not watching Nisha's channel, she is awesome. So I'm just making that outer seven in my outer corner of my eye to sort of lift it a little bit and give some depth. Now this brush has no product on it whatsoever and all I'm doing is blending out the colors at the edges just so we don't have any harsh lines left over. This is the original blending brush, larger blending brush that I had used. Next I'm going to go under the lower lash line with that darker color and using a flat shader brush, tiny, tiny, tiny little Wayne Goss brush and then I'm gonna blend that out with a little more of the mauve color. Now this brush is the Makeup Geek Outer V brush that I used also for my outer corner. I love this brush, it is an absolutely perfect brush. And here's the rest of my face with my makeup on. Look at those eyes, look at that horrible eyeliner. What can I say? I have crepey lids and wings do not work very well for me because my lids are drooping. They're drooping hard, people. The second look we're going to do, I'm going to fast forward through the first part because it's identical to the daytime look. The thought here is that you can come home after work and take this into a nighttime look if you wanted to build upon it, or you can start from scratch and, and do this look, but the first few steps are the same as the look we just did. When we get to the lid color, I'm using this sort of duochrome shifting darker color from this palette. This has become my new darker obsession. It is a really fun color. It's got a little bit of a shift to it and it's dark and smoky. I'm going to do the same thing with my outer seven or my outer V here with that darker matte shade just to give a little more dimension. The difference between day and night here is I'm just doing more darker for the nighttime look than I would for the daytime look. But you know me, I don't follow those rules anyway. Same old empty no product blending brush just to make sure I don't have any harsh lines going on over here. And then I'm going to go back under the lash line with the darker color again. And I don't like to get too crazy with my under lash line liner, but sometimes you just have to if you want to define under the eye. And I'm going to blend that out 
with the mauve color just so it's not as harsh. And I'm trying to be a little more dramatic than I was for the daytime look, but you know, I just can't bring myself to be very dramatic under the eyes. But since I can't be very dramatic under the eyes, I can put a little bit of shimmer highlight in that inner corner. And I'm just using my pinky finger. It's the easiest way for me to get it right in that right spot, adding a little bit of that same shimmer up underneath the brow bone. And here is the finished look for the nighttime version of this. I did a little better on my eyeliner this particular day. What can I say? I'm not I'm not that great at my eyeliner since I've been getting older ever since I turned 40. It's brutal. Brutality, I'm telling you. Again, look number three. We're going to do a sort of gold tone look from this palette. I'm starting out the same way with those two matte shades to set my eye primer and to sort of give a little bit of transition powder mm, smoothness type thing. I'm going to use this sort of beige yellow as my transition shade. It's a pretty fair color. I have really fair skin, so it shows up well enough on me. I'm going to use the sort of chocolatey matte brown from this palette and do my crease. And again, because I've got hooded lids, I do have to take it a bit up above the crease. And the process is kind of like apply it, look in the mirror straight on, see what it looks like when I put my eyebrows down, then apply some more, look straight on, back and forth until I like it. My lid's going to be shiny shimmery again with that same sort of shimmer bright beige color. And Outer V, again, we are going to go back in with that dark shade and the Makeup Geek Outer V brush. It is just a really perfect outer corner color. It's not too dark. You can build it up and get some consistent darkness. Either way works great. And blend your colors together. Put that inner corner highlight in and then I'm going to go under the lash line with the chocolate brown and instead of doing a harsh line I'm really trying to sort of blend this out and make it a little bit more soft and smoky. This is the Sigma E25 brush and I'm just blending it out and here is the final look with the rest of my makeup on for this sort of neutral gold tone-ish sort of a look. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a thumbs up below. I will list all the products in the down bar. Thanks for geeking out over makeup with me. I appreciate your time and have an awesome day or night wherever you are. Take care of each other. Thanks.